Greetings, fellow earthlings, and I guess anybody beyond that who might be listening. Hey, uh, this is a further test of my uh, new Vivitar camera. Um, I've pretty much resigned myself to shooting in 1080p because that's really all that my video editor and uh, laptop can handle. Uh, for editing. Um, I did get a passable editing test from the free version of Filmora 9, but the free version uh, puts a big watermark across your video. So I think I'm going to just, uh, sorry about the squeak, uh, Sage is wanting me to play. So anyway, so what I think I'm going to do is just continue to film in 1080p and uh, edit in HitFilm Express and uh, deal with the, the uh, lower quality audio. So today's video will be a test of, of that and uh, I'm going to do that by uh, recording my process here. Uh, Mrs. Ox bought me a new barbecue grill for my birthday. And uh, I'm going to turn around and show it to you. So I'm not going to bore you with all the setup. I'm just going to kind of do a before and after. So I've pretty much unboxed all the parts. It's kind of a neat, it's a wood uh, wood-fired pellet grill so it'll it'll barbecue and it'll smoke and roast and braise and sear and all that kind of stuff so there's what I hope it will look like when I'm done assembling it Sage knock it off and uh, here's all the por all the parts you know before so wish me luck I'll uh, I'll put it together and then wheel it out to the back patio. And in the process, I will further test this camera. All right, see you in part two. All right, kids. So there it is in all its glory. This is a pit boss, and it's an Austin XL model. It's a pretty big uh, cooking surface, but it's uh, pellet fired, so it's it's a wood drill. Uh, but then it's you know you have to plug it in. It's got electronics that control the temperature and the feed of the pellets, and then you can also uh, change the airflow by putting the little chimney up and down. My first time with a pellet grill, I usually grill on gas, so this will be fun. And this one will do a lot of cool stuff like smoking and slow cooking. So I put it together here in the garage and I'm going to wheel it out to the back patio where it'll live, but I think I'll go online and find a cover and stuff for it so the weather doesn't beat it up too bad. Anyway, I hope the camera performed all right today. Like I say, I'm back to 1080p, uh, so this will be a, another decent test. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.